Greetings and salutations. I hope everyone is doing well today. It's a beautiful day outside. My husband is out there building a fire pit in our backyard. I think he's just bored and needs something to do. <laughs> so I thought I would come on today and change little Aaron for you. And I'm going to be putting on this little blue dress um, it's like a aqua teal color which is one of my favorite colors and uh, it's got a pink bodice with a dark pink and light pink and yellow polka dots on it with a yellow bow with a bee bumblebee or honeybee I guess right there button and uh, it's got little bees that look like little bumblebees um, flying all over it with um, between the pink and blue and brown flowers and then it's got a little lace edge along the bottom little short sleeves that are gathered and little pretty little tiny tiny blue buttons on the back but see how tiny they are to my fingernail but that's my little pinky fingernail but I don't have to button them because they're actually snaps <laughs> So that's kind of nice. And then she has the um, pink uh, with the polka dots on the, um, the yellow, the light pink and dark pink polka dots um, bloomers. They're gathered at the legs. And then she's got a bonnet in the same pattern as the dress and it's gathered at the center back, back there. Has lace around the front, little blue, flowers on the sides holding the yellow ribbon ties so that's what we're going to be putting on sweet little Erin today how are all of you guys doing hope you're doing well my husband and myself are doing well um, still no illness on this side of the tracks <laughs> um, So anyway, I wanted to just come on and do a changing video because I've been painting um, a baby. I'm working on seven months June. Um, I had actually started her uh, back last fall um, before Imelda hit. And when Imelda hit and my kids moved in, I had to suspend that. And uh, so now I'm back doing that and I'm nearly finished with the painting. I've done, I'm, well, actually I am finished technically with the painting. Um, I did her fingernails and toenails today and uh, her eyebrows, but I'm not real happy with her eyebrows at the moment. Um, I painted them on. So what I think I'm going to do is um, after I get her varnished and everything I'm going to root her hair and I will probably root her eyebrows um, I have found so far that with reborning uh, dolls and I don't know any of you oh honey you know, break your ankle um, I don't know if any of you out there who are uh, reborn dolls what you think but to me the eyebrows are the hardest things of all uh, eyebrows just well I haven't done that many to begin with and I'm hoping as time goes on that I will improve um, but right now those are the hardest things for me um, painting them is very difficult and I think rooting them well it's going to be probably a little better I rooted um, Luke's when I did his hair, I did root his eyebrows, um, but I'm, I'm, that's the first eyebrows I have ever rooted, and so they're sort of close together, which makes them look really dark. So I'm thinking um, I'm going to have to just practice on, on getting eyebrows right. But I wasn't too worried about June because she's probably going to be staying with me. Um, yeah, she'll be a, a good companion 
for my other bigger girls. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And, of course, knitting. There we go, sweetheart. Those little pants are so cute on you. You look a little cold. Um, so, I did something uh, the this weekend. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this video now. It's like 3 in the afternoon. But I probably won't be able to upload it for quite a while because my husband was guarding yesterday and cut through the internet cable <laughs> so I had to call yesterday and uh, tell them that it was sort of an emergency that he is a uh, health care provider and he's seeing patients from home to, for televisits on the computer and we, de we desperately need the internet for that got on your face baby um so they put a rush in and he's supposed to be here today between three and four and it's like i said it's a little after three and he's not here yet but uh so i won't be able to upload this video until my internet is fixed which means he's gonna have to replace that cable because yeah my husband cut right through it all righty let's get you turned over here princess such a sweet little baby girl. Such a sweet little baby. <laughs> she just curls all up. Um, so anyway, um, what I was going to tell you before that, before I told you about my internet being down, um, something I have done in the years past, and I decided to do it again and get my husband to film it for me, um, I did this week. Here we go, princess. There we go. Yeah, then... Aren't you sweet? Aren't you sweet? She looks so cute just like that. Um, and he did, but uh, at one point he was a little too far away, so it looked real fuzzy. And then we did it again, and it was late um, the next day in the evening, or no, it was later in the evening, and it got really cloudy. So I'm not how, sure how well you're going to see it, but um, I thought it might be interesting for y'all to see. Um, I have. Like I said, I've done this in the past and it worked well, well, and it worked really well this time too. Um, I have hummingbird feeders up all over my yard, and uh, we have the hummingbirds, and they come and feed, you know, all day long. They're out there all day long, and they zip and zoom and dip and dive. Uh, they're very territorial, and so they pick out a feeder that they like, or one will pick out a feeder he likes, and then he will defend that feeder he doesn't like anybody else coming <laughs> to feed off of it how sweet is that how sweet is that let me get her some socks hold on so what i do is um no oh, she hasn't worn these yet these are some little white socks that have about an inch wide uh thing of lace all the way around them that it has a little pink on the edge They're like pink diamonds or something in there uh so what I do is I, I sit in a chair, and you'll see on the video, I'm not sitting very ladylike, and the reason for that is because I have to sit there for a little while holding, holding the feeder. I sit and hold the feeder, and um, the hummingbirds will come and feed out of the feeder that I'm holding, which is really cool because they're like right in front of my face. And, oh, oh boy, the wind from their little rapidly beating wings is amazing. But you can hear them. They're, like, um, really fast beating wings. It makes a, it sounds like a, almost like a little fan. And then they twitter, you know, the little twittering sound that they make. And it's just absolutely adorable. And it's so cool that they're, like, inches from my face. But it does take some patience. I mean, you do have to sit there for a little bit and be very, very still. And so to hold the feeder full of food for, you know, a number of minutes, it gets tiring. So I have to sit really where I put my knees up and propped my forearms on my knees to steady my arms so I can hold up this feeder. So we did that. You want pass you, baby? Your passy, there we go. Big passy for little face. Um, 
so I did that and we did have some hummingbirds come and like I said they will <laughs> defend their territory and so they were flying like around my head and in front of my face and they sit there and hover and hover right in front of my face and look at me like this is a weird looking tree <laughs> but then they will they will sit and uh, feed and um, at times of you know you could stick out your fingers and they will uh, sometimes sit on your finger so I don't I, I have my finger tucked in under the perch at first and then I was going to put it out uh, at one point I did but then it started to rain so we decided to stop and come in but anyway there's my little Aaron all dressed up and what I'm going to do is um, that lace around the bottom of her dress is pink and the lace around her bonnet is pink I don't have the light on the overhead light I have the light on the camera on so I couldn't really tell but that now looking at it, it's pink pink yeah um, but um, I will put the video up I'll, I'll trim it so you don't have to sit and wait for the um, hummingbirds to come I'll just show you the parts where the hummingbirds are flying around me and feeding so there's my little Erin take you down and let you see her she's such a sweet little thing my little preemie girl she's the luna sculpt uh, she's only 15 inches she's a little micro preemie as you can see she's so tiny she's a full body silicone and uh, she's made by uh, her sculptor is jenny lee so that's her, and I wanted to show y'all something really cute while I'm at it. The other day when I did my Theme Thursday video, um, Aubrey was laying there sleeping and Hannah was watching her. But Hannah decided she was tired of watching her. She wanted to hold her. So she's being a very good big sister, and she's holding her very tightly. Not too tight, but tight enough she's not going to fall, and she's just watching over her. What a sweet big sister she is. Good girl, Hannah. Aubrey's sound asleep in your arms, baby. Good job. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope to upload this tonight. And uh, stay tuned and you can see the hummingbirds flying around me uh, as I hold the feeder. All right, bye-bye.